everyone. Uh, my name is Chris, the CEO and the founder of Strint, uh, which is an easier and a quicker way for companies to ingest and process real-time data streams. Uh, Strint is a team of uh, big data ex expert. And for myself, uh, I got my PhD degree in 2012 from University of Memphis, Tennessee. And after that, I worked for uh, Vanderbilt University. Uh, all my research efforts were trying to help scientists to uh, deal with big data, how to transfer, how to share, you know, uh, across the country for collaborative uh, research. So uh, I see the opportunity to apply the technology uh, in industry. So I went back to China to start this business. And uh, the whole team actually uh, has between seven and 20 years working ex ex experience. So we have the knowledge, the expertise, and resource to uh, succeed in this area. So uh, let's start uh, with a question. So uh, when do companies like uh, you need real-time data streams? Actually, we know uh, in finance, uh, banks already use real-time data to detect credit card fraud to avoid millions of lost. And uh, for e-commerce, you only have like 120 milliseconds to show cross sale on the web page. And um, actually, real time data is becoming a game changer for other industries. Like manufacturing, uh, you have like uh, a couple of seconds to detect a, a machine failure. Otherwise, you know, people may die. And for uh, retail, you have a couple of minutes to adapt the price change. So in general, uh, whenever you want to unlock the real-time insights and the time to act is critical, you need to rely on real-time data streams. Well, there are challenges associated with collecting and using real-time data because data are coming from everywhere. It's coming from the web, the social networks, the sensors, the machines, and the list can go on. So with all this data coming into the company, so what did a scientist spend most of the time doing? If you don't know, here's a quote from data scientist. Actually, 80% of data science is about data cleaning. Well, <laughs> well, well, the other 20% is complaining about data cleaning, <laughs> even worse. Yeah. So uh, we want to uh, solve this problem to make real time possible. So we want to shrink that 80% of collecting, you know, cleaning data into five minutes, point and click, the biggest pinpoint we begun. And how do we do it? Um, we come up with a strength, which is an intelligent platform that continuously ingest real time data from any sources. And we apply AI models over this streaming data to detect uh, anomalies or do pre prediction. And string is uh, secure, it is global and reliable. So with string, all you have to do is simply select the data source and choose your uh, data destination and relax. String will automatically do the magic for you, do the data cleaning. And based on the clean data and uh, our partners and uh, we and our partners uh, help our customers to build real-time applications. So we could, have, uh, we could help our customers to detect uh, environmental risks or uh, to detect the you know, uh, failures in supply chain. And for each industry, we are working with uh, different partners to provide real-time uh, applications. So our business model is simple. And we charge the enterprise based on the volume of data they replicate. So the more data you have, so larger discount you will get from Strint. And this is a huge market. Um, from data integration platform as a service to uh, data management, it could reach uh, 128 billion US dollars globally. So actually, this is the reason why uh, we are um, doing strength. This market has enough space for us to grow. And what we do above brings us into a very unique position in the market. 
Actually, we provide both batch integration and streaming integration with intelligent analysis. So far, um, we have uh, built successful partnerships with companies like uh, Alibaba Cloud and Amazon and some other uh, system integrators like uh, Digital China, which is uh, the largest uh, system integrator in China. And working with this, uh, by the way, uh, we also you know, have some uh, in partnership with uh, some Japan or Korean uh, system integrators to, do, uh, to, go to go to the market. So working with these partners, we have acquired uh, around 100 paid customers. Uh, right now, mostly in China. Uh, we are looking for a new round of funding and a partnership uh, to go fast, uh, to scale up our team, to uh, further develop our product, and to give a big push on the marketing, to get more customers in Asia. And we are ready to uh, you know, expand globally in 2020. And so uh, we are trying to help business to you know, uh, use real-time data. Uh, there's a big pinpoint, and we have a good solution and traction and a great team. So if you'd like to help us to you know, unlock real-time insights for business, please come and talk to us. Thank you. So a couple applications, one which I think you may be doing and one I didn't see that to me is pretty obvious. Okay. Um, agricultural, environmental, air quality, those kind of things. Are you doing anything in yes, that area? Right. Yeah, we are doing it actually, oh, working yeah. with our partners. Um, one of the scenarios is uh, for pig farming. <laughs> so actually, uh, it, it's pretty, uh, it's very serious for the African flu, uh, oh, what is the name of the virus? African uh, swine pig flu. yes one something yeah it's getting very serious in China now, we are working with some uh, pig farm uh, farming uh, factory to monitor their uh, status of the uh, farm um, to collect data in real time to project the pollution or the you know uh, virus status uh, financial stock trading commodities. All those things. How about that? <laughs> it's hard to work with actually in finance in China, but we are working with HSBC Hong Kong. Uh, Strain is uh, based in Hong Kong, headquarters is in Hong Kong. Uh, we have offices in Beijing and Nanjing. But we do uh, work with uh, HSBC, some foreign uh, banks, to help them to do real time. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Chris, how, how do you uh, deliver your the product to your customers, and, and where do they typically deploy it? I think uh, we have two options, actually. Uh, one is the uh, standard, uh, it's a, a pass system platform as a service. It's a uh, subscription-based. And for some large enterprise, uh, we may deploy it on-premise, so do some uh, Custom customization to some extent. Okay, great. And I saw you had maybe about a hundred customers that that you were getting through your channel partners. Um, could you give us an idea of uh, what uh, types of customers you guys are serving right now? Uh, right now, like uh, the state grid of, of China, and uh, some uh, from the logistics. That one side, you know, uh, China Life. Actually, we're working China Life for this. Uh, uh, African pig, uh, Swiss, uh, you know, uh, virus. Yeah, and a couple of them from uh, retail industry, a large uh, uh, company in China, yeah. Uh, you didn't really explain how it works. Would you mind explaining that in a little more detail? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, of like, course. Like how how, how does this black box work, and why can't other people do the same thing? Mm -hmm. Actually, um, the large market we are working in is uh, data integration. For traditional data in integration uh, solutions, they are more uh, based on batch. Uh, I mean, uh, it does not support real time well. And also, the other thing is um, the performance of the solution with high volume data the traditional architecture does not support uh, that performance required to deal with uh, big data. So real-time, high-volume uh, performance, and we support 
large number of uh, data sources, including traditional uh, system, transactional system, and you know, uh, other modern cloud services, SaaS and uh, sensors. So we cover you know, uh, large, more uh, broad of sources. I think those are three um, you know, uh, main things compared to traditional solution, which is our uh, feature. And okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to answer that question. So um, we pre pre built connectors to you know those uh, sources, and uh, it's pretty simple for users. Open uh, a web interface, choose the source you want to integrate, and choose the destination. Either uh, it could be a data warehouse, cloud data warehouse, Redshift, or some uh, analytic platform. Then uh, we will do the will automatically you know, transfer data continuously from the source to a destination and do the transform in flight you know, for customers. That, that's the simple way for them to use it. Um, it. It seems to me that without any more details, it seems like other people can do this too. I mean, yeah. just to changing the data format from one format to another. Uh, you know, what are the real challenge in this and what's your solution, unique solution that, that's basically, that it's a barrier, technical barrier for others to get in. Um, I don't see that yet. I know you, you have a great thing that works, uh, but it doesn't convince me like okay, how uh, you do it and why other people can't do it eventually, right? Maybe they're not doing it today. Okay, uh, let me uh, try to explain to, uh, um, so the, uh, the technical technical advantage of our platform, like one is so. Uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, you have so many sources, right? We have the expertise to connect with each each source, and our system support uh, has a higher skip scalability. So no matter you know, the volume of your data, we have a, a you know a, a cloud platform. We can scale according to your uh, demands. I think this is one of the uh, technology advantage. There are many uh, data integration middleware handle that kind of job. What's your unique IP? Yeah, because there are many data integration middleware handling data sources, connection, volume, processing. Yeah, what is the unique IP that really I, I technology side? I think uh, we differentiate us from uh, you know, um, others. One is real time. So the okay. data integration. They, real time. They, also, they, they call it handling us. Real-time IBM, Oracle, they have middleware, data middleware. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Real-time, what, what is your differentiation? So uh, we are also you know, uh, doing real-time, and now uh, we cover more sources. Uh, you know, the deep or the broad of the sources we support, uh, you know, uh, more than them. And uh, we automated the whole process. So uh, besides integration, we also connect with applications. And uh, we automate w from, uh, you know, uh, the source to application, the whole pipeline. I think this is also unique compared with the uh, uh, you know middleware you mentioned. Okay, thank you, Chris. Okay, All right, thank you. Up.